So suppose if Venus is in Aries, then you keep on loving your spouse, and don't expect the spouse to love you back, because expectations hurt. You think my point? So this is something that comes with Aries. It is very fortunate in these regards. Along with this, there are also financial problem with Aries is very strong. Like you will notice if anyone is having the seventh lord in Aries, his spouse will always have financial problems. Now it is a fifty percent prediction, right? Because fifty percent the spouse's own chart is also here. So whenever we predict about some other person, the like secondary person, you keep it in mind that you can only be fifty percent correct, not hundred percent, because the spouse also have his own chart and his own karma, etc. But still, the problem with income, you know, daily income, is a big issue. Daily income is a problem in Aries. It is a very big problem in Aries. Daily income. So the when the seventh lord or Venus is in Aries, the spouse will not have daily income. If it is in a profession where there is no daily income, it is okay. If it is in a profession where it is a daily income, then it will be very financially problematic and challenging for the spouse because daily income is not good. One more thing, in Aries, fulfillment of desire is a problem. When in Aries, you understand that desires will not be fulfilled. Your desires related to Aries. Will not be fulfilled. You think my point? So, for a for Aquarius people, Aries is there in the third house. So they, their siblings will never do what they want. No matter however you know guidance etc. They give to their siblings. They will never do the way. Like for Capricorn people, it comes into the fourth house. So no matter how much they guide their family member not to do this, not to do this in this Corona times, no matter how much they say you stay at home, you use sanitizer, they will never do that. So you know, your wishes to your wishes regarding the planet or regarding the house where Aries is falling, that will never be fulfilled. In whatever house Aries is, try not to have any desire for that particular house. Getting my point. These are the three, four main themes for Aries. One more thing for Aries is, <clears throat> so you see, it is Aries is having many problems, right? Aries is a very problematic sign, and almost all the signs of Malefics are very problematic. To be very honest with you, dual signs, one, and the signs where planets are exalted and debilitated, two. These signs are very problematic, right? So tell me what are the signs where no planet is exalted and debilitated? These are least problematic signs. Okay. For example, Gemini. Leo Aquarius are two, which are neither. That they are not dual and there is no exalted ability. Yeah. Aquarius, Leo. Most tension free signs there. Aquarius, Leo people, you will generally see most tension free. And despite being in multiple problems in between the sea of troubles, Leo, Aquarius, okay, that will be type you know scenario. Other than this, Gemini, Sagittarius. Is also okay because there is no exalted, debilitated planet. The most problematic is Scorpio because there is only debilitated planet, no exalted planet, and no one to rescue. Right? Generally, the signs where a planet is exalted as well as debilitated, that sign is a facade of multiple events. You know? Multiple events, like you know, like very strong upheavals in life will be there. Very strong upheavals. Getting my point. Those signs where no planet is exalted or debilitated, there are not very strong upheavals. 
you know every event in the life of a leo or aquarius or gemini or sagittarius is of very low intensity no event is of high intensity even their marriage will be a low intensity break in marriage will be low intensity child birth will be low intensity death of child will be very low intensity it will not affect multiple things in life life will go as it is for other people for those ascendants where planets become exalted and debilitated even small changes will create big problem in life generally you will see leo person aquarius person gemini person sagittarius person even if they change property three times in a year there will be no disturbance in their professional routine because of that there will be no disturbance in their walking routine because of that scenario so most tension free life you know very big events don't happen small level events happen because no exalted event coming back to aries what i was talking about so i am feeling breathless while constantly talking so just excuse me for that particular thing now the power with aries is aries person as you have seen you know multiple problems with aries the children the most devoted students and the best children aries person will get okay generally you will find a cancer ascendant person no matter how dirty a teacher that person is his his students will always praise him cancer ascendant boss no matter how terrible a boss he is people will praise him a lot because students and children students are also like children pay him much respect so the <coughs> student part of life <coughs> the children part of life is the area where they are blessed okay second thing with aries is there is nothing that they don't know many a times in life you lose something because of lack of knowledge you lose something because of lack of understanding you lose something because you were immature generally it happens right when you listen to someone's life story they will tell you that when i was young i did this mistake and you will be like oh that time you were very immature it is supposed to happen with you right that generally does you know bachpan ki galtiyan hoti hain as most like you know someone will tell you i used to earn very good amount in my first job but i was not able to save anything you will say you are immature that's okay that happens you know in the first job you don't know where to invest money where to save money how to do this how to do that this problem generally never comes with aries right even if the aries person is not well versed in the thing that he is dealing with even if the aries person knows nothing about the area where he is right even if the aries is completely unknown to that particular area to that particular knowledge to that particular field he will excel he will shine so bright that everyone will be like he had been doing it since long getting my point 